in this lesson we have an introduction to area. Now area is the space inside a two-dimensional shape. It is measured in square units. Now some common measures of area are the square centimetres. And the way to write that easily, cm with a little two, okay? cm squared or square centimetres. Another one, square metres. And the way we write that is m with a little two there, okay? m squared, square metres. Now if we do have a square that measures one centimetre by one centimetre, then we say that that has an area of one square centimetres. All right, that might be useful to do on a, a piece of paper yourself. Just draw up a square with a ruler and pen, one centimetre by one centimetre, and that will give you an idea, a very good idea, how big one square centimetre is. Example. Below is a one centimetre square grid. Okay, there it is. We need to find the area of each plane shape. Well, shape A firstly is a rectangle. Let's just count how many squares it takes up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can say that shape A, the area is eight square centimetres. Shape B, also a rectangle. One, two, three, four. We say that shape B then has an area of four square centimetres. Now shape C is an irregular shape, okay? It's not a rectangle, but it does cover up squares completely. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So shape C has an area of 17 square centimetres. Now the next couple of shapes, we're going to do two things. We're going to count them up and then we see if, if there's a shortcut. So shape D is a rectangle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So shape D has an area of 15 square centimetres. But let's consider a couple of other things. The length there is 5 centimetres. And the width or the breadth is 3 centimetres. Now what do you notice about 5 centimetres and 3 centimetres? Well if we multiply them together, 5 times 3 is 15. We get an area of 15 square centimetres. Hmm, interesting. Now shape E. Okay, another rectangle, a bit bigger than the last one. If we count them up, uh, you know, we count them up in ones, you could count them up in twos or maybe fours later, we'll see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four. So shape E has an area of twenty four square centimeters. Now, what about that length though? It's four centimetres. All right, the width there, or the breadth, is six centimetres. And if we multiply four by six, four times six, guess what? 24 square centimetres again. All right, so that might be a little bit of a shortcut to do rectangles there, to find the area quickly of a rectangle. 